This is Fabricating Fiction. You're listening to Dice City About Time, Episode 1. It rains every day, every night in Dice City. It doesn't matter if it's the rarely hot or the normally cold, it rains. I'm told the real problem is after a while you can't even tell what time it is anymore. Is it day? Is it night? Eventually you just say to yourself, I know I'm exhausted so I guess I'll get some shut-eye. When your eyes roll back open you can't tell if it was ten minutes or eight solid hours. There are no sayings like day in, day out in Dice City. Here, all of it, it's about time. Time management. Time loss. Time spent. That's why when something good or bad happens, dicers tend to say, it's about time. Alright, alright, let's wrap this up. Last on our morning docket, we need to officially welcome Mickey to Precinct 44. You all already know him, since he's been here a few weeks, but now it's official. Alright, Precinct 44, you have your assignments. Get out there. Walk in a downtown beat again. Why do they keep doing this to us, Bash? I'm a war vet, and a one-man army. I could take out a whole gang if I needed to. You just hit it on the head, Zep. You can actually make an improvement in this city. Nobody in power wants that. It takes time to learn how to make money when things are changing. Status quo, though. Well, that's already money in the bank. Everyone's crooked in Dice City. Even you, ain't that right, Captain Mayweather? Watch it, Bash. I'm not in the mood for your crap today. Go get to work. Zep here needs the exercise. Hoo-hoo, the captain doesn't pull any punches, does he? Not even when talking to a biologically modified war vet that's eight feet tall with 45 inches on his shoulders. What are you, Bash? A puny 16 inches? <laughs> <laughs> hey, length is more important than width, huh? Oh, only the little guys say stuff like that. I'll see you boys out there. Hey, Mickey and I will bring you a dozen donuts, Zep. Save one for Bash this time. Then you better bring 24, Shaughnessy. Stay safe out there, huh? What do you think I am, a jamoke? Hey, Mickey, I'll pull the car around to the front. Don't forget I get two sugars in my coffee. And put that recorder away, for God's sake. You can practice your velvety undertones later on the ladies. Right now, the only thing you gotta do is listen to me. You rookies gotta learn the ropes. Not like yesterday. Come on, it's about time. Yep, just, just give me one second. The detective exam is only optional after certain callers are under your batch number. Okay. Sorry, Sergeant. You got it. Not like yesterday. <laughs> All right, Zep. Guys out front. Let's go. Oh, come on, Bash. Let's sign out a squad car, or at least pull around the back. It's embarrassing getting into that little car of yours. All the guys make fun of me. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Zap. Are you disobeying the orders of a superior officer? (sighs) No, sir. Good. Now let's go. Oh, hey. Ooh. There's a lot of rain this morning. (laughs) Hey, Zep. Why don't you go get the car? It's just down the block. Ah, oh, yeah. You just have to jive a little. <clears throat> it rains all day, every day, and it dies, and it doesn't want to get wet. Still hazing the new guy, huh, Bosh? You know it. You're a good man, Bash, no matter what they say about ya. Come on. How you figure? The Giants, the Vets, they don't normally do so good after the war. The average Dicer appreciates their service, sure, but they're still scared of them. Who wouldn't be? They average almost ten feet tall. Zep's a small one, I'd eight and a half. But what you've been doing here at the precinct has humanized him. Made him one of the guys. 
normal, I guess. Let's keep that other little secret, huh, Shaughnessy? Hey, I don't tangle in another man's business. Where's Mickey with them coffees? So you know what you should do? You should pull to the alleyway. Make him walk in the rain a little bit. And I'll teach him. That's character. Boy, that's a good idea. You and Zep be good, Bosh. If I gotta sit in this tiny car, then I'm driving. <laughs> hey, you got it, Zep. I don't care which side you sit on. Shaughnessy popped the curb. Must not have been paying attention. Sounds like it's more than that, Zep. Listen, the horn's still going. Sean? Hey, Sean, you all right, buddy? You've been drinking earlier today. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Ah, oh, what in the world? Bash is just a skeleton. There's not even meat on his bones. It doesn't make any sense. I was talking to him 30 seconds ago. It was just fine. He was just, he was just pulling the car into the alleyway. Whatever happened, Bash, he's gone now. Looks like he's been dead for a long while. Uh, let me see one more time. Ah, oh, man, Shaughnessy. Uh, what happened to you? Zep, let the captain know. One of our own is dead at the front door. Day or night, it rains in Dice City. Heavy rain or light drizzle, you can't tell the time. Day or night, it's all about time. Keep an eye on your watch, huh? Otherwise you could end up like poor Sean and just run out. <laughs> 